Hi guys, so welcome to another day when I am trying to vlog a day that I'm working. So today I thought I'd bring you along with me while I go into kind of the local city that I have and I actually spend some of my day working from here. So I try and spend at least one day a week outside of my home office. By now if you watch my videos you'll probably know I spend all my time in so i can actually just work somewhere else just get a bit of inspiration around me and most importantly just be around other people and actually just you know enjoy the fact that i work for myself and so i can work in different places so i've brought my laptop with me i've brought my camera with me obviously and a notepad pens obviously money because it's the city and it's expensive and i'm basically going to go find a coffee shop there's a couple of them that i really do like to just sit in and just um, working for a while gonna get myself a drink and I'm gonna basically get to work so yeah I just thought I'd bring you along today on just my working away from my office day I guess so I will see you in a little bit Rainfall in Arizona got me feeling a little somber 1800 miles from home but it's alright No, no drink could fix this People are so persistent That's why I'm staying in tonight I need a little getaway time with you We could always rendezvous I just miss you and how we vibe Let me call you in the morning Tell you how I've been Then you tell me everything You never said to me Late night thinking of you just walking back to my car I spent a couple of hours today um, just working in the city the most expensive thing that I, I don't know if this is in all cities I imagine it is but the most expensive thing is literally the parking itself so that's pretty much what's cost me most of my money I don't know if anybody else gets super annoyed by this but Whenever you pull into a car park and there's loads of room on either side because you know it's smaller cars or whatever it is and then only to come back and find two ginormous cars between your car that are literally about that far away from your doors. So I couldn't even get in the driver's side, I've actually had to climb through the passenger side to get into the driver's seat so that's why I'm hot and sweaty because it's hot down here as well so yeah anyway that was my little rant over but um yeah so other than that i 
had a really i've had a really good time i went and i just got a drink sat down at a cafe and worked it took me a while to get confident with that i deliberately didn't work away from my house for about a year and a half um because i just didn't think there was any space for me to work i don't live exactly in the city i live you know a bit of a drive away so around me there really aren't many coffee shops and places that you can go sit so if i do want to go i have to go to one of the nearby cities or one of the nearby towns or something like that so a couple of months ago i decided i was going to try and make a regular thing of coming into a city and spending just one day every now and again working here and i just push myself and encourage myself to go sit at cafes and get my laptop out and just get used to it at first and then i started to realize that in the city people don't really care whatsoever and you'll just find so many people who are working on their laptops because i think so many people these days just have such different jobs and jobs that are much more flexible in their hours or they actually own a business or businesses and they're running them from their laptop so i've got a lot more comfortable and relaxed of going in finding a coffee shop or somewhere to work and just working so that's what i did i worked in a coffee shop for a little while first and then i gave myself a lunch break where i went and i had a bit of a shop around i didn't buy anything because that was not the point i just like to go see if there's anything nice that you know i might want to think about maybe investing in in the future and i pretty much said to myself that the only thing that i was going to purchase if i did find something that i wanted was jeans because i am desperate for a pair of really good jeans i've got quite an hourglassy shape so or quite a curvy shape i suppose so I really struggle to find really good jeans so I always so I said to myself if I could find a pair of those I would but I didn't find a pair of jeans today so the only thing that I basically have spent my money on today is food and the expensive parking that I had to do but other than that it's been really good just to get out and just be around people and things like that so now i'm going to go and visit my brother at his office which is just outside the city and then i'll head back hi guys so i've just got back from uh just got out my car just came into my office and put all my stuff away my office is a bit of a mess as it always is so that's something i've got to do tomorrow i've got to clean up my office but i just kind of wanted to wrap up this video with just kind of saying i suppose why i like to make sure that i go out at least once a month is what i try and do because i work from home and i try and run my all my businesses from my home and i also have a part-time job so i definitely need to be in the office every day just kind of building things up and yes some of my businesses run fairly passively but i'm still in that process of trying to build and scale everything and get it to levels that i want it to be at so yeah there's a lot of you know still every day getting in there and building these things up and seeing how they run but i sometimes really like to just get away from my office for a little while and remind myself why you know working for myself can be so good because i can have that opportunity to get away and go and work wherever i want to work so sometimes i work in the city sometimes i find like a coffee shop not far away and i work there you know i i i've tried to make it a big thing to ensure that at least once twice a month sometimes if i can do it the goal is every week i would love to be able to do it every week but you know it does cost me to go and sit in a coffee shop you have to buy food and a drink you have to pay for parking and also it can kind of disrupt my routine a little bit because obviously when i work in my office my home office i can just get up early in the morning get myself ready go for my morning jog or run or whatever i want to do and then come sit down here and get started at a really early time but because i don't want to hit rush hour traffic and things like that when i'm going into the city or i'm going somewhere i usually have to wait around and it can just get a little bit awkward but it's something that i try and do for my own mental health for my ability to keep socializing and yeah it's just nice to get out and sometimes i'll have lunch with a friend when i'm out as well or i'll go see my brother or something like that so yeah i just it's just a, a good thing to do and i was re i really surprised myself with the fact that i could work away out of my office because like i said i spent two years or a year and a half really working in my office 
exclusively and then I decided I wanted to invest in my laptop and I wanted to push myself and go and work outside the house and I'm so glad that I did so if you're somebody who you work from home and you're feeling a bit claustrophobic or you're kind of struggling for social interaction I know it sounds strange to go and work somewhere on your own but when you're out and about it gives you so much more opportunity to meet people get to know people and also go see people because you're already out and you're not making that excuse of oh well you know I could be missing out on a couple of hours of work because you're already out and you're already socializing in a way so yeah I just kind of wanted to keep you updated and in my diary of you know me working to build up my businesses I got quite a lot done today because like I said I worked in the city and there was a lot of me having to move different places and you know lots of distractions and obviously then having to do the commute there and back it took a couple, bit of time away so I didn't get everything on my to-do list that I wanted to get done but I did get a couple of things and yeah I'm pretty much happy with it so I think I'm going to wind down today with taking my dog for a walk with my mum and then yeah then just making myself some dinner and maybe finishing off a little bit of work but I might just say to myself enough's enough today you, you know you've done enough and I'm back in the home office tomorrow working completely like normal so I'll probably get a lot more done tomorrow than I did today but I still had a good start on it I still managed to fit it in um, and hopefully do some things in my business that will help it build and grow in the long run so thank you so much for watching this video if you stuck through to the end that's amazing and i can't believe how many of you are subscribing to my youtube channel i honestly just thought no one would be interested in one girl and her little journey to build her businesses and her online income so it means so much to me when you guys subscribe and i absolutely love if you do enjoy my content if you subscribe because it lets me know that we're just building this awesome tribe of people who are deciding to work in a different way and build their income in a different way and who want to have more control over their financial future and the way that they want to earn money and that's what my channel is all about just my quest to build my financial freedom and do it in a way that I enjoy and hopefully you guys enjoy watching. So I'll see you in the next video guys. Bye.